is like amazing to bring a new prop throughout the class. And just to get started, because we only have an hour, come to your hands and knees. I always like to set up with cows and cat paws. It's a great way to warm up the wrist and the spine. So you can turn the fingertip all the way back. Move your knees back a little bit and then have your shoulders above your wrist and you can press the toes down. Inhale to drop the belly down, arch your back, look up, feel just the movement here of your spine. And then exhale round like a cat back, exaggerate it, look at your own belly button. Inhale to drop the belly down, arch your back, lift your chest up. Exhale as you round at your spine. Give it three more times, inhale, belly down, chest lift. Exhale, round at your spine. Two more, inhale, belly down, chest lift. Exhale, as you round. Last one, inhale, belly down, lift your chest up. And then exhale to round at your spine. Come back to a neutral spine, turn the hand forward now, fingertip facing forward and start to bring the heels of your hand to touch. Now we're gonna focus on the wrist a little bit. Think about making big circle with your body. Lean far forward and then lean all the way to the right, back to center, Be, try to lean back, but keep the heels of your hand pressed down. So imagine you making big circle with your body, nice and slow circle. So we'll do three times, one direction. The heels of your hand press down the whole time. So it doesn't matter how far you go. Don't let the heels of your hands lift up. And we're gonna do three times the opposite direction. In yoga, we stay on our hands a lot. So it's really important to uh, stretch out the wrist. You know, you can, you, do, uh, you can do it on your own anytime. It was a really simple thing to do. Even uh, you're not practice, we just stretch out certain part of the body. Come back to center. Now turn your fingertips forward and start to flip the back of your hands on the mat. You may do one and feel too much already. If you can do both, do both hands at the same time and then straight the arm. And now we're gonna bend the elbow, straight the arms, bend the elbow, straight the arm. If you just did one, now switch. I'm going to do three more here, bend the elbow, straight the arms, bend the elbow, straight the arm, last one, bend the elbow, straight the arm, and your reach should feel a little bit sore here, it's a good sore, come sit on the heel for a moment, and I'm just check it out, check it out your wrist, give it a nice flex, send your arms over your head, open and close your hand really fast here, just for a few more rounds. Another 10 count, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, and 2, and 1. And then maybe roll the shoulders back a few times. Roll the shoulder forward, nice and slow, a few times. And then just come sit with your legs straight out in front of you. Have your legs straight out and have your hip just like um, your feet just in the hip with the part. Think anterior to of your butt, send your tailbone back. Hand can be behind here. You're just gonna turn the toe in toward one another and then turn the toes out away from one another. Keep your legs straight. If your hip really tight here, it may feel like a lot. Just try to just be mindful of how you move. But just keep your feet dorsiflate, nice and flat. Turn the toes in and out, so a few more times, here we'll do two more rounds, in and then out, and then in, and then out, and then put your feet on the mat, hands still behind your back, lift your chest up, which is rock side to side, just loosening up, warming up your hip here early in the morning. Try to open up every part of the body. Go 10 more, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, and 2, and 1. Cross at the chin and then step into all four. Now I want you to grab the outside, the edge of your mat. Move your knees back. Keep your hips above your knee and start to send your heart into the mat. 
So find puppy dog stretch with this arm variation. And if you feel like you're stuck here, you can slide one block underneath your chest. You can bring your chest closer to the mat, uh, to the block. You, whenever the mat seems so far for you to reach, you use block to make um, the mat high up to you. And then pause here wherever you are. Give it one more big breath here, breathing in. And then exhale out slowly, come out of it, move your hands back, tap the toes, and then send your hips up to downward facing dog. Grab your outer arm bone in, lift the heels high, you may pedal the legs out. And you can also stay side to side any movement that you may need here. Back to regular down dog, palm press down, belly draw in, tailbone high, in, down. Exhale, rock forward to plank position. And then lower your knees, lower your chest, lower your chin down. Slide your heart forward. Move your hands back, really squeeze in to the side body. Hands underneath the elbow. Lift your head and your shoulders up. Maybe your palm float up too. Holding it, low cobra. Activate your back muscle. Press the toes down. Shoulder blades squeeze into one, one another. Head and shoulder lift up higher. Holding it for five, for four, for three, for two. And then hand down, head down in one. Sit back, five chai pose. So get the knees to go out as wide as the width of the mat. Slide your hand forward. You can come to your fingertip and then lift your forearms off the mat, put your forehead down. And then pause here for three full rounds of breath in this chai pose. So three full rounds of breath, forgotten how you breathe, inhale, exhale three. Inhale, exhale two. Inhale, exhale, one. And then lift back up to all four, tap the toes, downward facing dog as you exhale. Take a round of breath here, breathing in and breathing out. Lift your heels high once again, rock forward to plank. This time you can lower the knee down or you can keep the knees up just like this. So modify if you need, rock the shoulders forward. Bend the elbow halfway to Chaturanga and holding it for three cow, three, and two, and one. Now go slowly all the way down to the belly. Bring your hands back a little bit, peel your chest open, low cobra once again. Shoulder base squeeze in, and then forehead come down. Fingertip grip outside the mat, elbow up. Peel up higher, get go cobra. Inhale, exhale, forehead down. You can sit back to child pose to down dog or place your hand down, tuck the toe, plank to downward facing dog. Inhale here. Exhale up. Lift your right leg up, bend the right knee, step your right hip on top of your leg. Lift your left heel up higher, aim the right knee toward the ceiling. And then make three circle with the right knee, just to start to loosen up the right hip joint. And then three circle, another way around. And then square off your hips, straight the right leg out, inhale. Exhale, knee to nose. Two more, just like that, inhale, shoot the legs back. Exhale, knee to chest. One more, inhale. Exhale, knee to chest, round in, land your right foot neck to your left thumb. And then straight the right leg out. So your right foot should be closer to your left hand. Move your left foot a little bit closer to the right side of the mat, try to flap your left foot down. Now both legs straight. You may feel like you run out of space here. You may grab block to place underneath your hand that totally fine. 
And you should feel your leg crisscross cross here, so that nice stretch, both feet flat down. Lift your chest up, inhale, exhale as you fall. Inhale, exhale as you fall a little bit deeper. And then start to re-bend the right knee, lift your chest up, come to your fingertip. And then bring your left foot behind your right, get your big toe, uh, pinky toe to touch, which means you have to bend the right knee a lot to get to that action. And then breathe in to sweep your arms out and up, reach high. Maybe lean back a little bit just for a moment. Back to center, right hand, grab your left wrist as you lean all the way to the right side. Keep your right knee bent, straight that left leg, pinky toes still touching. And then come back to center as you inhale. Exhale, you fold your hand, come back down. Inhale, halfway lift flat your back, hand can be on to block your blocks if you need. And then step your left foot all the way back to the back of the mat. Drop the left knee down, keep your leg toe tuck, hook the thumb, arm rise up. And then lengthen the tailbone down, try to get really long here with your spine. Right hand come back to grab your left wrist again, you're going to lean all the way to the right side. One more ounce awesome of breath here, breathing in. And breathing out. Come back to center, put your hand down, and then step back, down, bird facing dog. Shift forward to high plank. Take Chaturanga knee, can be down, holding it for three, for two, for one. Slowly all the way down to the belly. Grip your fingertip outside the mat, get go cobra, peel your chest open. Exhale, head down, child pose to down dog or plank one piece into downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your left leg up. Bend the left knee, stack your left hip on top of the right, lift your right heel up higher. Make three circle with your left knee in one direction. And then three circle in the opposite direction. Now square off your hip, point the toes, inhale, exhale, knee to chest. Inhale, turn the legs back. Exhale, knee tight to the chest. One more, inhale. Exhale, knee to chest, land your left foot neck to your right thumb. Straight your left leg out, come to your fingertip. Move your right foot a little bit crisscross to the left side, flat both feet down, straight both legs. Breathe in, chest lift. Exhale as you fall. Make sure you make an anterior tail of your butt here. Every time you fall, you can go a little bit deeper. Another round of breath here. Breathing in. And breathing out. Rebend the left knee. Sing your hip down just for a moment. And then step your right foot behind your left. Now you have to bend the left knee a lot and keep your pinky toe to touch. Breathe in, sweep your arms out and up. Left hand, grab your right wrist. Lean all the way to the left side. Give it another round of breath here, breathing in. And breathing out. Inhale back to center. Fold, exhale. Half and lift, flat your back and step your right foot all the way back. Drop the right knee down, keep your right toe tuck, move the opposite thumb and rise. And then left hand, grab your right wrist as you lean to the left once again. Keep your torso right above your hip. Inhale back to center. Exhale, hand come down, step back, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the heels high. Exhale, rock to plank. Lower down Chaturanga, maybe hold it longer here for five, for four, for three, for two, for one. All the way down to the belly, fingertip outside the mat. 
Lift up, soft hand, peel up. Good, go cobra. Press the toe down, so one more breath in. And then hand down, head down. You can do plank to down dog or chai pose to downward facing dog. Breathing in and breathing out. Now bring your feet to touch at the back of the mat. Listen to the cue, shoot what works for you, look forward. You can step, step or float to the top of the mat. Forward fold as you exhale. Inhale, root to rise, look up. Maybe lean back, fly back bend a little bit. Exhale as you fold all the way down. Inhale, half belly, flat your back. You prefer jump back to the ranga, press your hand down, heel high. And then glide lightly, float back to Chaturanga. Or step, step, take a push up. Now find up dog on your inhale. Downward facing dog as you exhale. One full breath here, breathing in. And breathing out. Bring your feet to touch, look forward. Step, step or float to the top of the mat. Forward fold, exhale. Inhale, root to rise, look up. Maybe lean back. Exhale as you bow. Inhale, halfway lift. Jump back or step back, make it yours. And then we'll meet back in downward facing dog. Another round of breath, breathing in. And breathing out. One last round here, look forward. Step, step or float to the top of the mat. Forward fold as you exhale. Inhale, root to rise, look up. Maybe lean back. Exhale as you bow. Inhale, halfway lift, flat your back. Jump back or step back. Maybe you want to keep the push up and just step right back to downward facing dog. That is totally fine too. And pause here in your down dog. Take another round of breath. Inhale. Exhale out. Bring your feet to touch. Lift the heels high. Rock forward into high plank position. And bring your forearm on to the mat. Five forearm plank. Interlace your hand together here. Holding plank. If you need to lower the knee down, you do that. Take care of your body. Make sure your butt is not stick up like this. You want to tilt the pelvic bone forward. Push the forearm into the mat. Strong core here. And then just roll to the outer edge of your right foot. Feet gonna stack on top of one another, but your shoulder remains square. Lift your hips up high. You just twist the lower half of the body. Always modify if you need. You can always place the bottom knee down if you need. Come back to center, we're going to roll to the outer of your left foot this time. Shoulders still square, forearms still pressed down. One more big breath here, breathing in. And then come back to center, put the knees down. Five shy stores. Reset here for a moment. If you need to stay longer in chai pose, please do that. When you're ready to move on, lift back up, come back to down, bird facing dog. Tuck the toes, hip go back, down dog. Look forward. Inhale, you can step, step or float to the top of the mat. Forward, forward, as you exhale. 
Five share pose on your in breath. Breathe into your chair. Sink the hip down, arm rise up, and then grab the opposite elbow. And try to bring the arms up so that you frame your head with the frame of your elbow. Imagine you put your head like a picture in the frame. And then bend the knees a little bit more, bring the thighs going back. Keep drawing the belly in, keep lifting your chest up. Hug your other glute in. Inhale, send the arms up. Exhale, you fold. Inhale, halfway lift, flat your back. Step back, hop back, jump back, find the way to down dog. You shoot hard. You get to downward facing dog. From down dog, lift your right leg up. Inhale. Exhale, knee to chest. Inhale, send it back. Exhale, knee to chest. One more. Inhale, send it back. Exhale, knee to chest. This time, land the right foot neck to your right thumb. Pull your right hip back, left hip forward, straight your left leg, push to your left heel. Send your arm forward and rise up high crescent. Hugging in leg to right, straight the left leg more, push the left heel back, but keep the left heel above your left toes, mouth. And then right knee track over the ankle, right hand grab your left wrist, lean all the way to the right side. Inhale back to center, arm rise, exhale open, five, warrior two, and pause here. Maybe lift the right heel up in warrior two. Fingertip reaching away from one another, front thigh parallel to the mat, left leg straight. Bend the right hand in, keep the right heel high, you lift it, flip your right palm. Left hand, grab your right wrist as you reverse your warrior. Right forearm to thigh, right heel release. Left arm up to the ceiling, maybe up and over the ear. Right sit bone, pull back underneath your spine, really strong here. Your right hip, really feel that external rotation of the hip. Don't let the right knee turn in. Maybe right arm reach up underneath. Holding it five, four, three, two. Both hands come down if in one frame the right foot. Roll your left heel up. Pull the right knee up to the chest. Send your right leg back, three legged dog. Option to keep the leg high for Chaturanga, or you can drop the right foot down. And then take a push up. Inhale to upward facing dog. Down dog as you exhale. Inhale, lift your left leg up, point the toes. Exhale, knee to chest. Inhale, to the legs back. Exhale, knee to chest. One more, inhale. Exhale, knee to chest. Land the left foot neck to your left thumb. Come to your fingertip, pull your left hip back, send the right hip forward. Slowly rise up. High crescent. Push more to the right heel. Left hand grab your right wrist. Lean all the way to the left side. Inhale back to center. Exhale, drop the right heel. Open up. Warrior two. And maybe you lift your left heel up. Keep reaching fingertip to fingertip. Maybe close the eyes. Bend your left knee and in. Flip your left palm, right hand. Grab your left wrist as you reverse your warrior. Release your left heel down. Left forearm to thigh. Right arm up, pull your left sit bone underneath. Maybe your right arm reach over the ear. Chest spin open. Maybe your left arm float under. Frame the ear, holding your right leg straight for five, for four, for three, 
for two. Both hands come down in one. Lift your right heel up. Pull your left knee up to the chest. Send your left leg back to three-legged dog. Shift forward. Leg can stay high for Chaturanga. Inhale to upward facing dog. Downward facing dog as you exhale. Breathing in one full breath. And then exhale out. Bring your feet to touch. Look forward. Step, step or float to the top of the mat. Forward fold as you exhale. Chair pose as you breathe in. I'm going to grab the opposite elbows again. The other arms on top. The one that feels a little bit weird. The non-dominant arm. And bend the knee deep. Belly draw in, chest lift up. Tailbone lengthen down to the heel, move the knees back, so not, no pressure on the knees. Inhale, arm rise, and slowly bend the knee deeper. Bend the knee deeper, bend the knee deeper, and you come to Navasana boat pose. You may bring your hand to support behind your back. You may hold on underneath the knee to help to lift the chest up or you may straight the leg, you may extend the arm. Whatever you should we're holding it here for five, for four, for three, for two. Feet down, come right to your chair. You may use block to help if you need. Exhale as you fall. Inhale happily, flat your back. Step back, hop back, jump back, find a way to downward facing dog, however you should, to find out dog at your own pace. No rush, you can be faster or slower than my voice. Listen to how you breathe, move with your breath. Inhale, lift your right leg up, point the toe. Exhale, knee to chest. Inhale, shoot it back. Exhale, knee to chest. One more, inhale, exhale, knee to chest, land the right foot neck to your right thumb. Rise up high, crescent. Left hand grab your right, uh, right hand grab your left wrist, lean all the way to the right. Inhale, back to center, arm rise. Exhale, open up. Warrior two. Maybe right heel lift up once again. Bend your right knee another in. Flip your right palm. Left hand grab your right wrist as you reverse your warrior. Right heel come down. Right forearm to thigh. Left arm up or up and over the ear. Spin your chest open. Maybe both arms frame the ear for five, for four, for three, for two. Both hands come down in one. Left hand stay. Five side plan. You may step, no, you may use your right foot as a kickstand. This is modified version. You may step your right foot on top of the leg. You may lift the top leg up, lift the hip high, making your body like a star shape. Holding it here for five, for four, for three, for two, and then in one five high plank position. Take a push up, we're gonna hold it for five, for four, for three, for two, or the way down to the belly in one. Fingertip outside the mat, go back to that gecko cobra once again. Then you feel that you may be able to go a little bit higher. One more breath in. Forehead down, chai pose to down dog or plank to down dog. Your choice. From down dog, left leg, lift up. Inhale, point the toes. Exhale, knee to chest. Inhale, send the legs back. Exhale, knee to chest. One more. Inhale, send the legs back. Exhale, knee to chest, land your left foot neck to your left thumb. 
Come to your fingertips, slowly rise all the way up, high crescent. Left hand, grab your right wrist, lean all the way to the left side. Inhale back to center, warrior two as you exhale. Maybe lift that left heel once again. Fingertip reaching away from one another. Bend your left knee another in, flip your left palm. Right hand, grab your left wrist, reverse. Lower your left heel down, left forearm to thigh, right arm up, maybe up and over. Maybe both arms frame the ear for five, for four, for three, for two. Release both hands now in one. Set up for side plank. Roll to the outer of your right foot. Maybe left foot come as a kickstand. Maybe you step the feet. Maybe you lift the top leg up. Make a star shape with your body. Holding it for five, for four, for three, for two, for one. High plank position. Lower down halfway, holding it five, four, three, two, all the way down to the belly. Fingertip wide, elbow up, peel up. Get go cobra, soft hand and lift, inhale, exhale, forehead down, chai pose to down dog, or plank to downward facing dog, breathing in, and breathing out, and from here we're gonna find a squat position, you have option to hop your feet, land soft outside the hand, if you don't like to hop, you just step, and stay. Do five rounds. So you hop, you hop back, and then do it again. Maybe the next round, your feet go a little bit past the heels of the hand. And then hop back, hop forward. Hop back, hop forward. About two more rounds here. And we all gonna land in squat. You can grab your block to sit on. If you need to squat, and if you like, you're gonna fall backward. You may sit on the block, palm to touch, and this is you get a good benefit out of it. Also, you may keep your hand together. Just sway the hip side to side. Lift your chest up, keep your chest lifted. And you may stay here longer. Some of you may lift your hips up and bring your big toe to touch. Put your hand down, find crow pose. Try to lift the heels high. Get the knee as high, closer to the armpit, and then hugging it. Hand should be shoulder width apart, not wider than that. Lean forward so much until your feet float up. The more forward you lean, gonna help the leg to float. Maybe you try to straight the arms into crane. And holding it. Round your back like a cat back. One more breath in. You can shoot back to the rug. If you in support, straight the leg and then go to the floor. We're gonna meet back in downward facing dog. Breathing in, in your down dog. One full breath. And then breathing out. Lift your right leg up, inhale. Exhale, knee to chest. Inhale, shoot it back. Exhale, knee to chest. Give it one more, inhale. Exhale, knee to chest, land your right foot, neck to your right thumb. This time, move your left foot to the left about two inches. Move it up another two to three inches, flat your left foot down. Draw the right hip back and slowly, Right up, warrior one. So warrior one, your hip remains square, but your left foot flat down, so you need a wider and a little bit narrow step. But if you are here, some t-shirt, heel with heel to heel, very narrow step, 
that's totally work to form mostly Ashtanga version of yoga and there's no right or wrong, it's just the way your body will be able to take it. But if your hip really tight here, narrow stand, it's not going to work so well. And then you may even have to step the right foot out a little bit. But you're going to bring your arm out, interlace your hand behind your back. Straight your front leg just for a moment. Lift your chest and your sternum up, send your fist away from your back. And then rebend the right knee for humble warrior. Bring the right shoulder, tap the right knee. Maybe right shoulder can go inside the right knee. Left foot still flat down, keep pull your right sit bone back. Inhale here. Exhale up. Come up only halfway. Keep your hand in the legs behind your back, or you may do two blocks if you need. Block can be about shoulder width apart and I'll show you both way. We're gonna find warrior three with this hand where the edge hand. You just lift your left heel up and then float your left leg up. This arm variation will help you to open up the shoulder and to activate the back muscles, you're not collapsing on the chest. But this can be a lot if you're new to the practice or you feel like you cannot really balance well. Just put two blocks underneath your hand. And it's the same pose, doesn't matter what you should. Keep your chest lift up. Turn your left hip down more than you think you want to. So when you look back to see your left foot, your left toe should point directly into the mat. One more big breath here, breathing in. Now release the hand down and put your fingertips on the mat. You're gonna bend both knee, curse it up. If you wanna put your hand in prayer, that's totally fine. Inhale, come straight back up. Exhale, bend both knee, curse it up. Inhale, come straight back up. Last time, bend both knee, curse it down, holding it for five, for four, for three, for two, and then you go all the way down. With the five seat, the spine on to waist. If you, your hip bones really flat down here, this is totally work. If you feel like you can fall on one side, straight the left leg up. Bring your right hand up and then behind your back. Send your left arm up. Inhale. You can just hold on to the right knee and rotate your chest toward the right side. You may hook the left elbow outside the right thigh and then through. You should whatever work for you. Some of you may have the bi version. You can also buy your hand. You can straight the right leg up. One more big breath here. Breathing in and breathing out. Come out of it. Whatever your variation. Come back to center. Lift your chest up. Counter to it just for a breath out. And then come forward to center, put your left foot on the mat, your right ankle gonna cross above your left knee. Now the closer you move your left foot closer to your sit bone, you're gonna feel deeper on your hip. Find that external rotation of your right hip there. And if you wanna add on a little bit core work here, this is optional. Send the arm forward. Float your left leg up. Now you in both pose with figure four leg. Inhale, you can lower down half board. Exhale, come up. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Two more. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Last one. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Now everyone find your way to bring your feet down. Lift up. Chair pose. Forward fold as you exhale. 
Separate your feet in the hip width apart. Pit side finger may grab the big toes. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale your forward elbow. Open out away from one another. The crown your head, reaching down toward the mat. Press the inner thighs back. One more breath in. Release any grip that you have. Bring your feet to touch. Inhale, come back to your chair. And we're going to take this to chair twist with option for those who love to play. Chair twist, hand come to prayer, you twist to the right side. Chest open, sit deep, twist more. If you work on side crawl, come to your tippy toe, you have to be able to put your palm flat down. Palm has to be flat, left elbow has to cross over, you know, between the knees and the hip. You may put the blocks to try to raise the right sheet into the block. So I'm going to show you, you either do this and then lift up into side crawl. If you need a block, the block will be placed, you can raise your right sheet on the block. And the variation here, for those who love arm balance, you can always add on. You in chat with stay. Arm balance, find your way to come back to chair to waist. Everyone look down at your right foot. Pull your left heel up. Extend your left leg back. Lift, feel the ground on your right big toe mount, right pinky toe mount, and your right heel. Three corner of your right foot firm here. You need to visit warrior three. And then step all the way back. You land right in twisted lunge. You want to just work on your twist, just drop the left knee down. And you still get the benefit of your twist. Chest spin open. One more big breath here, breathing in. And exhale, bring your hands down. Now straight the right leg out, run a stretch. You may grab your blocks. Some of you may go all out, full split, if that work for you. Somewhere between half split, make it yours. One more big breath here, breathing in. Exhale out. Slowly come out of it. However work for you, put your hand down, put the right knee up to your chest. Send your right leg back, three-legged dog. Option leg, stay high, shift forward, take a push up. Right foot down, upward facing dog. Down dog, as you exhale. Lift your left leg up, point the toe, breathe in. Exhale, knee to chest. Inhale, shoot the legs back. Exhale, knee to chest. One more, inhale. Exhale, knee to chest, land your left foot, neck to your left thumb. Right foot step out and up, flat down, warrior one. Second here, just for a moment. Your hands, extension of your heart, your right leg straight, your hips square. Send your arm back, interlace your hand, opposite grip on top, peel your chest open. Straight your left leg, just for a moment. Rebend at your left knee, humble warrior. Left shoulder tap or go inside the left knee. Now crowd your head reaching down toward the mat. One more big breath here, breathing in and breathing out. Slowly come up, only halfway. Roll the right heel up, throw the right leg up, warrior three. Push to the right heel, you need block, use your block. Remain square with your hip, straight both legs if you can. Focus on ground it down, let big toe mount, let pinky toe mount, and let heel. And then you can release your fingertip into the mat. You want a little bit harder, hand come to prayer. Curse it up. Inhale, lift it right back up. 
Exhale, curse it out. One more inhale, lift up. Curse it down, holding it for five, four, three, two, all the way to sit this spine. Not the waist on this side. Straight the right leg out if you need. Left hand behind your back, right arm reach up. You can just hold on to the knee, spin your chest open. You did different variation. If you buy your hand before on one side, you go back to your variation. One more big breath here, breathing in. Exhale to release. Come back, counter twist just for a breath out. Set your right foot down, cross the left ankle above the right knee. Lift your chest up. Great place to be. Maybe you find both pose again. Stay your board or lower down halfway, low board. Lift up, high board. Inhale, lower. Exhale, contract and lift. Inhale. Exhale. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Inhale. Exhale. Feet down. Share hold One breath. Exhale. Just a quick fold. Inhale. Come back to chair. We're going to take this chair to twist. Hand come to prayer. Twist. Left. Stay. Maybe side crawl, show you this way, you can do block to rest your left cheek down. You can put the cheek down so before you lift, you can tuck the left elbow underneath to help to support you too. Find a way that works for you, you want to kind of just start to play with the arm balance, you can always do prop, you blocks, anything to help. Take your time for those who take side crawl. And you're gonna meet us in chair to waist, look down. Float the right heel up. Feel the ground on your left foot. Exhale, the right leg back. One more big breath here, breathing in. Step your right foot all the way back. Right knee can be down, will help you to work. Deeper in your twist, or right knee can stay up. Whatever you did on one side, do the same thing on both sides. Chest rotate open toward the ceiling. One more big breath here, breathing in. Exhale, bring your hand down. Straight your left leg out, run and stretch. Or you work all the way out to your full split if you prefer. If you have it, you take it. Over somewhere in between. Half and full split. Slowly rebend your left knee, come out of it. Tuck the right toe, lift the right knee, cap up, left knee into the chest, send it back, three, leg it off. Chip forward, take the push up. Inhale to up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathing in one full breath. And breathing out. You may place blocks underneath your hand if you need. And walk your hand back a little bit. Walk your feet back a little bit. You're going to jump through the arm. Bend the knees. Look forward. And then flow through the arm. Hold and hold for a moment. Come down. And have your block nearby. Lay down on your back. Bend the knees as you lay down. Ground your elbow closer to the side body. Lift your hips up. Bridge pose. And then exhale to lower. You may do the same thing if you prefer to move on to full wheel. It's so good for the morning and really um, waking up your body. 
Turn your hand flat down, frame the ear. Elbows squeeze in, ground your feet down. Inhale here, push down to your hands and your feet. Exhale to lift everything up. And maybe walk your hand back toward your feet a little bit. And then try to spread the arms. Spread the arm, pull the chest through. You can also lift the heels up. When you lift the heels up, you take the pressure away from your lower back. Don't let the knee open out. Try to keep your knee hugging in, closer to one another. Stay here, bridge over you. Use each breath to help you to open up more. One more breath in, and then come down on your exhale. Upper, middle, lower back, knock the knees in. And windshield wiper the knee, rock side to side. Stay laying down on your back, cross the right ankle above your left knee. And then pull your left knee closer to your chest. Keep your shoulders on the mat. You can push the right knee away from your face. You can also straight your left leg up. Keep your shoulders on the mat. One more breath in. And then if you can, you double wrap the foot underneath your left calf to find supine to waist, so eagle leg supine to waist. If this doesn't work out for you, just keep your feet, uh, your knee together and drop both knees to the left side. Keep your right shoulders on the mat. You may need to place a block underneath your knee. That's totally fine. But keep the right shoulders down. Inhale back to center. Release the right foot down. Cross the left ankle above the right knee. And pull the right knee up to your chest. You can push your left knee away and maybe straight the right leg up. Keep your shoulders on the mat. Keep your tailbone lengthen forward and down. Release your right foot down, tuck your left foot underneath your right calf here, try to find eagle legs, move your hip to the left as you drop the knee to the right. So have your left shoulder touch the mat. If your knee is not touching the mat, you do blocks underneath the knee. Twist open. And then inhale, come back to center. Glide both knees, suck in toward your chest. And then bend the knees, grab the outside of your feet for a happy baby pose. You may rock side to side, massage your back. You may grab the inside of the feet and then straighten the legs out, depending on how the body feels here. Keep your shoulders on the mat. Inhale, come back to center, knee pull in, give yourself big giant squeeze. You can take Chavasana from here, you can take leg up the wall, head stand, shoulder stand if you need, if you prefer a short Chavasana. So just to show you leg up the wall, you lay down sideways to the wall like this, and then you bring the legs up, and how you get your legs up the wall. And you can also straighten the legs out. If you prefer to invert an inversion uh, in the morning really set up the day well it send the blood to our head you know the area where usually it's hard to travel and it's just gonna give you that calmness uh, throughout the day
play around with any leg variation if you invert, you need stand maybe try eagle legs try lotus leg or just keep the legs straight or just try quad head if you did that with me before that's always a good start too You find your way to your counter pose, nice and slow, no rush, and eventually in the next few rounds of breath, everyone should be in Chawasana. <laughs> 